Hey, what's up? What's up, people? So right now, everybody is um, is fired up and uh, ready to go to the polls. And if tomorrow were election day, we would have a record turnout. Just record turnout. If tomorrow were election day. But election is not until November 3rd. So, you know, that's a number of months away. So... The energy that you have right now, that energy that says, I need to get out and vote. I am getting out and vote. I'm going whether it's vote by mail or it's um, get out in the poll and vote. I am going, right? That energy, that, 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 um, that built up energy that you have now, we need to, con- we need to, we need to, to contain that. We need to, we need to retain that. Is probably the word I want to find there. We need to retain that. We need to keep that. Because when we go to the polls in November, it's going to be very, very important that the people that go to the poll are the people that care about people, the people that care about life, whether it's the life of the unborn or the life of of uh, he she that is born. Um, it needs to be all-encompassing. So, think about think about the child born whose mom cannot afford health care. You need to think about that person when you go to the poll. Think about that child who, when that child is born, the mother cannot help, not, cannot afford to feed that child a, a healthy meals. Think about that child when you go to the poll. Think about the child who the mother cannot afford to send to to school because of various um, things that need to be be purchased, whether it's uniform, um, whether it's um, a school bag, whether it's books. Think about those persons, that child when you go to the poll. Think about the child in school whose mom cannot afford lunch on a daily basis. Think about that child when you go to the poll. Who is it that cares for that child when you go to the poll? Think about that senior in high school who is graduating but cannot afford to go to college. Think about that child. Um, The reality that college, um, a tertiary education in this country costs so much money that a child comes out with a degree that is virtually useless but yet comes out with loans. And think about the, institu- the lending institution that, that looks at the, um, at the child's name, the child's um, um, background, the child's um, um, address, the zip code, and determine that they, that child cannot get a, a loan. And if that child gets a loan, the, the, the rate is excessive. Think about that child when you go to the poll in November. And I am saying again, get to the poll in November. November 3rd is an important day for this country. And those people who choose to stay home will choose to stay home for various reasons. One of the reasons must not be I cannot get to the poll because I, because I cannot, I don't have a ride. Think about how can you turn that around. What does it take to get you to the poll? If it's I cannot find a ride, then I admonish you to arrange for a ride days ahead of time. Call a friend, and a friend might have might know a friend. I will commit that day. If I have to take a, an unpaid day off, I will take an unpaid day off to drive people to the poll. I live in a 45211 zip code and I will drive people to the polls that day. Staying home because you cannot get to the polls because you don't have a ride is not going to be an excuse. And that day I'm encouraging everyone who can afford it to have bottles of water standing outside the polls to hand out to people who are waiting in lines. There will be lines. The wait will be important. The wait will be necessary. I encourage you all to go to the polls in November. Until then, keep the hope alive, okay? Just keep it alive. I'm telling you, it's going to be important 
that we continue to encourage each other until November 3rd. We do not want to leave that, we do not want to lose that zest that we have today because um, something might have, might have shifted a little bit down the road. We need to keep that determination. We got to keep that enthusiasm to, to vote our conscience. And based on what we're seeing these days, we know there are a lot of people there in Washington, D.C. that do not care for the people that I mentioned about earlier. And that must change. But that will change by just one vote. And that one vote is the vote of everybody who is able to vote. So, November 3rd is coming. And again, as I said, we've got to be ready to vote. And we've got to make sure that we vote our conscience.